The Denver Seminary's PhD program builds on the years of excellence that we've achieved at the master's level in training counselors who are thoroughly, biblically, and theologically grounded and integrated. Our reputation actually goes back to 1997 when we first received our KCREP accreditation, making us the first seminary KCREP accredited program in the country. And for all those uh, years and even some decades now, word has gotten out and we've had other seminaries who, when they've envisioned beginning a KCREP counseling program, have come to us for consultation and guidance on how to do that. For all of those reasons, then, we have been able to deepen our program, enrich it, refine it over the years, and have become a leader in that field. So earning a, a degree in counselor education and supervision can open numerous doors of opportunity for a person. Those doors can include entering into academia, uh, entering to research, of course writing and, and presenting across the nation and internationally. And the focus of, those con of that work is really about contributing to the larger field of counseling, whether it's through research, teaching, advocacy, and leadership supervision, um, but something such that they want to impact a large number of people's lives in a meaningful way. Furthering your education is, is empowering you to serve and love. So I think that's an important thing is like we're, we're getting a PhD to serve. We do a lot of work around the grand narrative of the Bible. And as we think about who we are as counselor educators and supervisors, how that work speaks to God's glory um, and how that glory is articulated in the Bible and what that means for us. Dimmer Seminary has a long-standing commitment to personal formation. Personal formation is a student-initiated, character formation, mentor-involved process in which students focus on lifelong learning in terms of their character as a counselor, as an educator, as a supervisor. Students are given 360 degrees of support. Staff members are dedicated to supporting them in their character formation and in their personal formation ideas. Often it involves an external mentor, which will also walk alongside the student in their educational journey. And on occasion, when a student might need professional support, there's professional support or avenues that can be made available to the student. Often, as individuals, we find if we look back over our own narrative, our current circumstance did not happen by chance. And so what we do with students is help kind of share their narrative and um, how they've noticed Christ working through that narrative all along um, and how that can translate into their research, um, how they teach, how they supervise, so they can truly be all of themselves as believers in Christ in all of those settings. I think the other thing that makes it really distinct is that people are operating from, this isn't just a job, but this is how we are participating in kingdom work. And so I think that that fuels, that purpose fuels how we love and engage with students and support them through the program. Getting a PhD can be resource intensive. So here at Denver Seminary, we have five avenues to support you as you journey through our program. There are graduate assistantships in which you can help a professor grade, teaching assistantships that you can help a professor instruct. There are PhD residencies, adjunct professorships, as well as scholarships available to support you financially during this journey. The cohort model will allow students to identify persons that they can engage together in the field post-graduation. The cohort model has been proven to be very effective for PhD programs. Student to student learning, exchange of ideas, edify one another, inform one another, and encourage one another to complete the program. Starting a, a PhD program can be kind of an overwhelming process. I know a lot of questions that come into students' minds. How am I gonna juggle you know, time in class with family responsibilities, with work responsibilities? And I think because because learning is such an emotionally laden process, being able to work with professors who um, have been through that experience before and are knowledgeable about the field, and most importantly to me, uh, care about students so deeply, is a part of how students can navigate uh, the program well and, and kind of um, feel the support that they need, I think, in order to succeed. The goal is for students to become colleagues, right, in, in when they enter a PhD program. So there's a certain level of collegiality that 
students enter in, right, and we attempt to establish with them. And so we talk a lot about research, teaching, supervision, and we talk a lot about who they are right now, um, where they hope to go, and how we as faculty can help them get there. And there's nothing like having a faculty pick up the phone or send an email to a colleague and connecting them with a student to help that student build their professional network. And so um, the relationships that we build with students are collegial and for their professional and personal growth.